in this circuit, we have three batteries. Each battery has an internal resistance. So we have this 12 volt battery with an internal resistance of 2 ohms, this 28 volt battery with an internal resistance of 1 ohm, and this 31 volt battery with an internal resistance of 2 ohms. And then there's five additional resistors the 7 ohm resistor, this 5 ohm resistor, this 7 ohm resistor, another 5 ohm resistor, and this final 7 ohm resistor. And we're going to try and find the voltage difference between points A and B. One of the things that we notice with the circuit is in this middle branch, there's this open part of the circuit between A and B. There's nothing connected between A and B, which means that no current is going to flow down this middle branch. And so like having an open switch here, or if it was closed, then we would get current that flows down here, but current is not able to jump across this gap here. And so no current will flow down this middle piece. And so that makes analyzing the circuit a lot easier. We really only have this outside loop when we're trying to find the current in the circuit. And there's two different ways of doing this. One way of doing it is to recognize that all six of these resistances on the outside are in series with each other. Um, and we also have this 31 volt battery and this 12 volt battery, uh, but they are connected you know positive terminal to positive terminal and so the they're acting like a battery with a voltage of 31 minus 12 or 19 volts and so one way to find the current that's flowing in the circuit is to just treat this as a 19 volt battery connected to a resistance of 7 plus 7 plus 2 plus 5 plus 5 plus 2 which is 28 ohms so you have 19 volts equals the unknown current I times 28 ohms, where we get a current of 0.67857 amps. And because this 31 volt battery is a bigger voltage than this 12 volt battery, this current is going around clockwise. If we did not see that that was the way to solve it, if we didn't recognize that that could happen, we could just go through and analyze this like other Kirchhoff law problems. If I look at this point in the circuit and I go around and I do a loop around this outside that's clockwise, we see that I only have one current, I. And so I remember when I go through a resistor in the direction of the current, I would say that that would be negative 7I. Then I go across this battery from the positive terminal to the negative terminal, so that's minus 12 volts minus 2i, minus 5i. Now I'm coming down here. Again, I'm going through this resistor in the direction of the current. This will be another minus 5i, minus 2i. And now I'm going from the negative terminal to the positive terminal of this battery. So it's going to be plus 31 volts and then minus 7i equals 0. That is Kirchhoff's loop rule applied to this circuit. Once I do one complete path around this circuit, the voltage differences must add up to equal 0. Again, if I go through a resistor in the direction of the current, it's a negative change in voltage. If I would have gone against the current, it would be a positive change in voltage. And if I go from the negative terminal to the positive terminal of the battery, it's a positive voltage. If I go from positive to negative, it's a negative voltage. And if I would do this, I can see that 7, negative 7i minus 2i minus 5i minus 5i minus 2i minus 7i, that would be negative 28i. And 31 minus 12 would be 19. So I would still get the same thing. I would have 19 equals 28i or I would get the current, just like I had before, was 0 0.26, or 0 0.7, 0 0.26, 0 0.26, 0 0.26, 0 0.26, 0 0.26, 0 0.26, 0 0.26, 0 0.26, 0 0.26, 0 0.26, 0 0.26, 
0.67857 amps. Now, we're interested in finding the voltage difference between points A and B. And to do this, we do this similar to what I did in this black equation, where I was going through and I was doing a loop, and I was looking at the change in voltage across each circuit element of the circuit. The difference is, I'm going to do a loop where I'm going to start at A, and I'm going to go around, and I'm going to end at B. But because that's not a complete loop, that those voltage differences will not add up to equal zero. Those voltage differences will add up to equal the voltage difference between points A and B. And so I'm going to go through and I'm going to do this loop right here. And so if I start at A and then I go around, I'm going to have, again, the voltage difference, which is the voltage at B, my ending point, minus my voltage at A, which is my starting point. That will be the voltage across this resistor. Again, I'm going with the current. So it's going to be minus 7 ohms times 0.67 eight, five, seven amps. And then I'm going to go across the battery from positive to negative. So it's going to be minus 12 volts. Then minus two ohms times 0 0.67857. Minus five ohms times 0 0.67857. And now I'm going down this middle branch. The most important thing we have to recognize is that since there's no current flowing down this middle branch, there is absolutely no voltage across those two resistors. Those resistors act just like wires. It's 0 amps times 7 ohms, which is 0 volts, and 0 amps times 1 ohm, which is still just 0 volts. And so there's no change in voltage across either of those two resistors. But when I do cross the battery, I do need to include that change in voltage. Again, I'm going from the negative terminal to the positive terminal. And so that's going to be plus 28 volts. And so if I were to go through and put all these things together, Negative 7 times the current plus negative 2 times the current plus negative 5 times the current. That together would be negative 9.5 volts minus 12 volts plus 28 volts, which would work out to be positive 6.5 volts. Again, this question was only asking for the magnitude of the voltage difference. So if, I've, if I would have gotten a negative number here, I would have just taken the absolute value. But it was important to go through and get these signs correct because from this we can see that the voltage at point B is greater than the voltage at point A because as I went from A to B, I got an increase in voltage of 6.5 volts. Again, it can be seen that we would get the exact same thing if we would have gone the opposite direction. We would have done, when we go across this resistor, we'd be going against the current. So it would be positive 7 times the current, 0 0.67857. And then this would be minus 31 volts, plus 2 times 0.67857 plus 5 times 0.67857 and then there would be 0 volts across that resistor, 0 volts across that resistor and then plus 28 volts 
Again, if you went and you added all that up, you would still get the exact same voltage difference of 6.5 volts. Again, with these problems, if you can find the current in the circuit and you know how to find the voltage across each individual circuit element, then you can find the voltage difference between any two points in the circuit by going from one point in the circuit to the other point in the circuit and adding up all of the voltage changes.